Yo, what up? February 1st, uh, last night I filmed the 30 day uh, biking challenge review. I popped some champagne, I celebrated. Um, today I'm back on my shit. I got work done, I got a lot of stuff done today. But I am, I told you guys and I told myself that everything that I do is passion uh, related and my passion's playing baseball. And so I'm gonna go run some hills. It's time to start running some freaking hills. Hill sprints, I'm gonna start off with probably just 10 reps, 10 reps as fast as I can, I'll work. I might even just do one, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to do it for 30 days straight. But my purpose is to motivate you guys and to serve God and blah, 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 yeah, whatever. But the real, challenge is the 30 day meditation challenge and I haven't thought about what I'm gonna film for that possibly maybe doing it in nature every day um, but right now I'm going to run some freaking hills and get better because I am a world-class athlete and world-class athletes do not take days off absolutely not Whipping around Fort Orchard, um, checking out some of the. I'm looking for the steepest hills possible, and there are a few candidates. There's one right next to the courthouse, which seems like it's the most reasonable because it's not too too busy of a street. And then there's the high school. There's a hill next to the high school that's pretty damn steep that I'm. I know is steeper, but I don't think it's gonna be like reasonable to do sprints on because it's a pretty steep for me. Uh, pretty busy street so I don't know uh, February is meditation and hill sprints February is meditation and hill sprints another 30 days 30 days oh there's only 28 days in February well 30 days whatever <laughs> well fortunately the biggest hill in Port Orchard is right next to Grandma's house, so I'm gonna get her to do a little exercise with me, get her going, doctor said so, uh, health is well. February 1st, I got Grandma out here with me. We're getting a little exercise in. Fortunately, that the biggest hill in Port Orchard, fortunately the biggest hill in Port Orchard is right next to Grandma's house, so. <laughs> It gives me a reason to see her. Love you, Grandma. Love you more, neener, neener. Found the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about Yo, what up? Okay, so um we're on day two of the meditation challenge. Um I have no idea how I'm going to film the rest of the 30 days. But I just going, I'm gonna I'm gonna share my experience meditating today this morning was the best meditation experience I've had. Um, so <laughs> if anybody knows what astral projection is, it's basically uh, it's basically where your soul leaves your body and you're conscious of it and you're in this astral realm. And this morning, I fully astral projected, and it was fucking unbelievable. All right, I'm just gonna, I'll explain it. So, for my meditations, I wake up at 4 a.m. I wake up at 4 a.m. 
I do 100 push-ups, I drink some water, I walk around, I stretch. I read uh, Marcus Aurelius Meditations. I read the Bible this morning. Um, I wrote a little bit in my book. And then, and then I, I listened to a Bob Proctor guided meditation. It's basically where you just, you just lay down. Basically, I went back to sleep, but I listened to a guided meditation. And this is just one way that I meditate. But it was, listen to my voice. Listen to the sound of my voice. You're getting very light, blah, blah, blah. Like, um, something like that. And I visualized a purple light entering the crown of my head and filling my whole body i got into a, a really deep state of meditation and then i i put on um a third eye opening binaural beat like pineal gland activation like a solvegio uh meditation beat and that shit fucking blasted me off into the universe so i experienced three full body like three full body mental orgasms it was it was crazy my body was shaking uncontrollably and i just kept telling myself to let go just to relax let go let the experience happen and on the third full body orgasm whatever it was i became conscious that i was somewhere different and um Basically, I, I woke up, I got out of bed and looked and I was in my room and I was floating and I got up and was like, whoa, like I'm floating. The whole world was like deep red, dark purple, astrally. I, I floated downstairs into the living room. And I'm just like floating, like literally floating. And then I, I, I go through the wall. I go through the wall out the window basically I was like a ghost and then I started flying <laughs> I started flying and outside it was dark red and dark purple and it was just this amazing experience and then I basically the first thing I thought about was like just flying and uh yeah and then the astral experience stopped and then I was able to maintain a deep meditative state for a little longer and I was trying to go back into it but I realized that things like this take practice and meditation takes a lot of practice. I've been meditating for years now and only this past maybe like four or five months I've really really started to get somewhere so I'm glad that I'm making these videos and these meditation challenge and, and I can uh, we can do this challenge together so uh, stick with me I'm going to figure out a way that I can film this and uh, yeah boom meditation challenge hill sprint challenge with fit electric Congo